what was the thought process that made you guys design yeah. and plan this program really there is absolutely no programs in the country which are focusing on the engineering aspects of data and that requires training we are seeing folks that are of 50 years of age as well yeah. who are currently earning 70 yeah. 70 lakh rupees they am joining this program yeah. and on the other side you are seeing early stage professionals yeah. who is this program for what kind of people are you seeing sir if you could give one piece of advice yeah. to someone who's applying for the pg diploma and mtech in yeah. data engineering from iit jodhpur so one piece of advice essentially will be to keep an open mind because things will be rigorous so sir we keep hearing today that in the future there will not be a data scientist a data engineer a yeah. data visualization expert there will be a data expert so someone who comes for this program yeah. can they become entire full stack data professional hi guys Today we have someone very special with us, one of the program directors of the PG Diploma and M Tech in Data Engineering by IIT Jodhpur. Hi sir, hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. So, so it is a privilege that we are talking to you. Uh, we wanted to understand that what was the thought process that made you guys design yeah. and plan this program. Really, there is absolutely no programs in the country which are focusing on the engineering aspects of data. so data science and data analysis and data analyst and those people are working on one direction uh, but the engineering that goes on at the back end basically is a also a huge amount of effort and that is basically pertinent not only in you know computing or internet or e-commerce or data related companies but they are extremely important roles uh, in all the core industries be it banking be it finance be it aviation be it Uh, you know uh, uh, chemical engineering be it any of the manufacturing in all of these industries basically the dependence on data is ever increasing and everybody wants to have their own data processing pipelines and stores and data engineering solutions that that they want to leverage upon uh, for their own specific requirements and that requires training and that requires specific uh, knowledge give normal knowledge sets and skill sets which needs to be developed and there were no courses centered around that actually so that is what led us to think about it and the program essentially has been designed around the core principle or the core engineering concepts of of data and specifically large data performance distributed computing uh, abstractions centered around that and so on and so forth so sir we keep hearing today and i have seen mm -hmm. i think you have also talked about that in the future there will not be a data scientist a data engineer a data yeah. visualization expert there will be a data expert yeah who understands the full stack because especially with ai yeah. you will realize a lot of things one person itself can do so someone who comes for this program yeah. can they become an entire full stack data professional yeah absolutely so uh, right now what what is that if you think about a uh, typical ai program or some things like that it is more uh, towards the algorithm side or towards the uh, application side which if you think about it in that way it is more like a top down uh, approach that is taken for uh, you know running and executing those programs uh, on the other hand we are more like a bottom up approach where we start from essentially the back end where we teach the students fundamentals theory applications and hands on on the back end first and then we come towards the front end so if somebody who is traversing the entire journey from completing the pg diploma in uh, data engineering and then continuing for another year in the mtech uh, per portion Uh, i am very sure that they will be you know ready for this entire role or the, all the roles that come in between basically sure yeah so sir now this pg diploma and mtech and yeah. mtech may they can get an entry without gate yeah so how does this work and what has the new education policy to do with it so basically the uh, new education policy uh, allows us to become much much more flexible and essentially what has that led to the thing is that the students can pick and choose specific modules that they want to pursue so it can be a one trimester thing it can be a two trimester it can be a one year it can be a two year and they can pick and choose as or on the basis whatever they want to do and specifically what happens is that once they become a student of our our institute of iit jodhpur and they do this one year journey and complete their pg diploma uh, they have the sufficient credits in their bank already that they can kind of leverage upon to spend another year and they can transfer those credits mm. essentially mm. Uh, that will be counted towards the mtech program and then essentially the 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 load in the second year then becomes much much more less 
and they can use those credits that they earned in the first year to get a M.Tech, which is a full-scale degree, uh, and it's a regular degree that we offer, and uh, essentially that's the beauty part of it. And uh, obviously we are not, uh, so GATE qualification is uh, more tied towards the stipend or the scholarship side of things, but since we are, this, this program is designed entirely for working professionals, probably that is not a, a very big requirement, and hence GATE qualification is also not a big requirement. Uh, or absolutely not a requirement at all. <laughs> right. uh, and hence, basically, uh, even students who are not having it, they do not need to worry about it. They can come here, spend the first year, and the second year becomes extremely flexible. Right. They have a lot of options. There is only one course, which is a core course, which is a mandatory course they have to do. And outside of that, they only have projects and, and another six or seven courses that they can literally choose anything from any department, from any topic of their choice. And they mm. can sort of tailor their own... Uh, you know, CV and their own uh, p p portfolio of courses in that manner that that they, f they feel will be, you know, up to their or, or working towards fulfilling their aspirations. Sir, I have seen that you talk a lot about projects yes. and industry connect. Yes. And because through the Future and Leadership Council, you're also getting a lot of industry practitioners. Absolutely. So what would you like to talk about the industry application and the projects? Yeah, so essentially, typical in, in, in our regular uh, courses or regular MTech programs that we run in our institute, it is like a MTech thesis that the students are expected mm -hmm. to do, which is, uh, which is more research oriented, which right. is more oriented towards answering open problems or thinking about solutions that do not exist. And, you know, coming up with creative solutions or creative ideations behind that, doing some validations, experimentation, so on and so forth. Uh, in this program, on the other hand, it is not the thesis, basically. It is a project. So mm -hmm. people may ask that, what is the difference between the two things? Well, the, in the project, essentially, it is a much, much more delivery-oriented thing, meaning that uh, whenever you take up a project, it's just like an industry project or any project that you are going to pick up, that mm -hmm. it will have fixed de deadlines, it will have specific timelines, fixed deliverables which you have to deliver hmm. and essentially that need not be something that is extremely open-ended or something like that but it is a much much more relevant project that that can actually help them pick up Gee. those skill sets that can translate very quickly as soon as they join a full-scale company right after completing that right and hence the in interaction that they get to have with the uh, industry partners Hmm. And the mentorship that they get in towards the execution of this project, that, that helps immensely, actually, towards right. achieving these goals. Because, uh, yeah, let us be frank, as academics, we are more research-oriented. Yes, And yes. we do not have, <laughs> literally, I, I may not be speaking for everybody, but at least I, I myself do not have the capacity to... Uh, to run a project in that so you are being too humble right now absolutely but, no, no, but don't so be so <laughs> i'm trying no, to, no. but at least uh, uh, that is the uh, that that is how it becomes a very wholesome thing essentially Gee. that our expertise as well as an industry expert hmm. uh, you know in, in, in the industry practitioners expertise right both of us come together to guide a student's journey hmm. essentially and that becomes very productive so no sir if we have seen the diversity of our cohorts we are seeing folks that are of 50 years of age as yeah. well we are seeing folks who are currently earning yeah. 70, 70 lakh rupees. They are joining this program yeah. and on the other side you are seeing early stage professionals. Yeah. So what do you want to say that who is this program for? What kind of people are you seeing? Right. Uh, so I have seen a huge you know, diversity in the batches. So I have seen people who are startup founders, people who have had maybe 15, 20 years of experience in say, uh, you know, financial services, data engineering and things like that. And I was kind of... Uh, 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 kind of surprise that when they came and meet me that really why do you are a 10 year veteran why do you need to do a course in data right. engineering because he then says that yes yeah, th this course actually ends up offering us several things right which typically may we may not be working on every day because we have developed our skill sets in very niche areas but uh, we need to diversify our skill sets also and hence this program becomes a very interesting choice in that opinion and they come in with huge experience, yes. you know. And naturally, what happens is that they, when they start interacting with out with the with the Other. relatively lower experienced or or maybe some to some extent fresher students, that becomes an extremely productive thing because yes. we the, this immersion program that we have, where the entire batch comes to our campus, they spend about a week, ten days in the campus, and the seniors, juniors, everybody gets to interact, network. That creates a huge environment where. The veterans give several tips to the juniors and they absolutely do not like it if the immersion does not happen. <laughs> you know? Everybody looks forward to the immersion right. so much right. because it gives them this opportunity. Yes. You know, 
so this program is for everybody in yes. that sense essentially so there is there are takeaways for freshers there are takeaways for uh, maybe a two year experienced uh, person from industry and also a 50 year a uh, person who has got maybe 20 years of experience even that person probably also has sir i have seen you uh, develop right relationships with these students yeah because yeah. i was talking to a lot of them and they were particularly talking about certain things that happened in class yeah. then immersion happened yeah. so you see a lot of relationship lot of peer learning also absolutely. happen in these absolutely. cohorts absolutely so sir if you could give one piece of advice yeah. to someone who's applying for the pg diploma and mtech in yeah. data engineering from iit jodhpur so one piece of advice essentially will be to keep an open mind basically uh, uh, what what some, some several times what we have observed is that uh, people try to uh, develop some uh, understanding about the program just by looking at the curriculum now the curriculum is a very very small part of the entire story of the entire experience that you're mm -hmm. going to have maybe it's just a 10% thing so once you step inside the campus or the program starts to be delivered when you are starting to take the classes starting to uh, you know appear for the exams there will be several things that may seem a bit difficult at the mean at the, at the at the beginning because things will be rigorous because in iits that is what are we we are good at and these are the things that uh, that is essential for a iit degree that it has to be rigorous and it has to be theoretical and a good balance between theory and practice both of these things have to be there uh, so i have found that there are there are people who sometimes feel a bit difficult to settle in but that is maybe a very very initial thing you know and that's a teething situation which uh, which maybe persists for one trimester at most after that things become normal for everybody so my only advice will be that you know tough through it uh, stay with us interact more uh, we are always there to help our whole team is there to help uh, reach out talk to us we'll be very sure that but till now it has not happened that some student has 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 uh, have a, or has faced a problem that we we were we were unable to solve so i'm very sure that in the future batches also will be able to do that but you know you, you need to ask for help to get help sure yeah. thank you sir really yeah. appreciate your time thank you sir thank you thank you